Hi, my name is Joey Long and I'm here to talk to you today about money laundering. Specifically, I'll be talking about a certified public accountant or a CPA's role in fighting money laundering, some examples of money laundering scandals, and why everybody should care about money laundering. According to the United Nations, the estimated amount of money laundered globally in one year is 2-5% to of the global GDP, or $800 billion to $2 trillion in current U.S. dollars. This is something every U.S. citizen should care about because, according to Payments.com, the U.S. spends an estimated $7 billion annually on implementing anti-money laundering regulations. Investopedia defines money laundering as the illegal process of making large amounts of money generated by a criminal activity, such as drug trafficking or terrorist funding, appear to have come from a legitimate source. The money from the criminal activity is considered dirty, and the process launders it to make it look clean. Criminals complete this process by placing the dirty money into a financial system. They then put the money through many transactions to distance it as much as possible from the original crime. After that, the money appears to come from a legitimate source, and they can use it to purchase whatever they please to integ integrate it back into the economy. The CPA Journal says that, in order to try to prevent money laundering, CPAs and financial institutions are required to file a currency transaction report with the government every time a customer executes one or more cash transactions, totaling more than $10,000. Also, the government requires financial institutions to file a suspicious activity report if they suspect that a customer is involved in money laundering activities. A CPA should be suspicious of a customer if they ask to have their money wired to and from various bank accounts without giving any reasonable explanation for it, or if they ask to make cash deposits in different financial institutions with amounts just under the $10,000 reporting requirement. One example of a bank that got caught up in a money laundering scandal is a bank based in London called HSBC. According to BBC, HSBC had to pay a $1.9 billion fine to the U.S. government in 2012 because a U.S. Senate report alleged that HSBC in the U.S. had not treated its Mexican affiliate as high risk despite the country's money laundering and drug trafficking challenges. Also, it circumvented U.S. safeguards designed to block transactions involving terrorists, drug lords, and rogue states, including allowing 25,000 transactions over seven years without disclosing their links to Iran. It also provided U.S. dollars and banking services to some banks in Saudi Arabia, despite their links to terrorist financing. And in less than four years, it had cleared $290 million in obviously suspicious U.S. traveler's checks for a Japanese bank, benefiting Russians who claim to be in the used car business. Another example of a bank that got caught up in a money laundering scandal is a bank based in Australia called Westpac. According to CNN, Westpac had to pay a $920 million fine to the Australian government because they failed to report millions of instructions for financial transfers in and out of Australia. The Australian government said that Westpac neglected to do its due diligence on transactions to the Philippines and other parts of Southeast Asia that have known financial indicators relating to potential child exploitations. The allegations against Westpac led to the resignation of CEO Brian Hartzer, and as a result of the deal with the Australian government, Westpac admitted that it broke anti-money laundering and terrorism financing laws more than 23 million times. Finally, to recap what we went over in this video, we learned about the responsibilities that CPAs have in enforcing anti-money laundering regulations, and we went over a couple of examples of banks getting caught in money laundering scandals. We also learned why every U.S. citizen should care about money laundering. It's because the U.S. spends an estimated $7 billion annually on implementing anti-money laundering regulations.